All right, this is the Search for Snorlax Expert, episode 12, take one. Citations, fellow knights, supposed to be stable. My name is Sir Hantelot, and welcome to another unboxing. So, a few things have changed, as you maybe have seen in the background. Like, the Snorlax stuff is no longer over there it's in the desk setup gigantamax and relax is actually on the puppy's table but you know cosplaying pikachu is also on the desk forever and search sleep a lot the build of and relax is right here on the floor uh, another thing i moved around since the last video was the placement of my switch in series s why did i do that i don't know i don't really have a good reason besides i don't know but anyway as you saw by the title this is another the search for Snorlax merch episode. And that means I have another package right here that is Snorlax themed from Amazon. This is another item for my Switch. It's like an accessory. I know I've covered a lot of Snorlax stuff for the Switch in the past, like episode four, five, and eight, I think? Maybe nine, I don't know. I'll link it, I'll link it up here throughout the video. But basically, I found another Snorlax item that's, um basically from the same company as those three other videos. And for those who are wondering, it is Fun Lab who makes these items. The Snorlax Pro Controller for episodes four and five, and the Snorlax Poke, or actually po just the Pokeball thumb grips from customizing my Switch to be Snorlax themed from episode eight or nine, whatever that was. But basically, this item is for episode 12, basically from the same company, Fun Lab. So without further ado, let's unbox it. Hopefully this is the right package because Queen Hamtalot ordered some things for her sister who is my aunt. I feel like I got the right package, but let's see. We're good. Y'all ready for this? So I hear a lot of background noise. King Hamtalot is um, building something for my nephew. Drum roll, please. <laughs> First of all, marketing. It's a Snorlax head. And as you see from the back, it is a Switch carrying bag. This is something I've always wanted, but whenever I want it, I never have the money. And when I do have the money, I never remember to buy it. So let's get started. I'm definitely going to be keeping this box, by the way. I mean, come on. That's really high quality made. Where am I going to put it? I don't know. I'm just going to put it on the bed for now. That looked so cool off camera. Oh my gosh. So here it is. This thing looks cool. L let me let me grab my old Switch carrying case and compare the two. It's in here, by the way. Here's the old case. By the way, I, yes, I always keep this in my Gizmo backpack. For those who haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. So this is my old Switch carrying case. Very boring. Let me let me empty it out real quick because I feel like there's something in here. Ah, yes. Pro tip, if you're traveling with your Switch, always have a spare AC adapter. So comparatively, aesthetics, this one wins. But in terms of um, making sure you don't lose it, this one wins because it has a handle. This is more like a clutch. Also, let's see how many games it holds because this thing can hold up to 20 game cartridges. Let's see how many this holds. That's seriously it. Okay, that's it. It only holds five games. Really, it's still aesthetically pleasing, but not as pra not as like a practical as the other one. Like it doesn't have a handle, doesn't have hold as many games. But then again, I only play five games on the Switch out of these ten all day. But let's stand the real test. Let me grab my Switch real quick. So here's the Switch. Oh, you can see my reflection. Hello. Yeah, and I, I am st I am still working on getting some stickers because right now you can really tell if it's not like same because it's kind of a dark green not really teal now the one main issue i have with this case and the switch is it is uh the, with the switch with the protective case i have trouble with the velcro strap like i can't like secure it all the way which is a problem for in terms of when to keep it from being shattered for safety reasons i have to be careful even with a protective case now to stand the real test Will this fit in this with this on it? Let's find out. Sorry if you're King Hand a lot in the background. He's 
talking so loud. Can you lower your voice a little bit? I'm recording. Sorry about that. So, let's see if it works. Perfect. All right. So it fits. That's always a good thing. The question I have is, will it fit in this backpack? <sighs> this is probably what I'm nervous about because I'm worried it won't fit. Fingers crossed. <sighs> now let's zip it up. Whew, that's a relief. It fits. Thank God. <laughs> I was so worried about that. So Shh. Calls my echo down, by the way. It farted. Rude. Let's give my final thoughts on the Snorlax carrying case by Fun Lab. I mean, at least my Switch fits in it with a protective case, unlike that other one. I still would have liked more storage for games because that one carried 20. This carries a quarter of that. Also, I would have loved to have had a handle with it. Like, I think it would have looked cool. But regardless of those little nitpicks, I'm really happy with this. I really am. So, final review for the Fun Lab Snorlax carrying case. It gets the seal of approval. Regardless of those minor details that I would have liked, it still it still works, and at least it fits. It, it fits. It fits in a my in my backpack, which you gotta appreciate. So yeah. I think with that being said, I think that'll do it for today's video, guys. Sorry if this video is a little short um, and compared to last week, but as long as I get this video uploaded on time, I'll be happy. For those who don't know, the video that uploaded last week kind of got uploaded late because my internet was down for days, and I could not figure out for the life of me what the issue was. Turns out I just needed a Wi-Fi extender to fix it, and thankfully it did. But I could, but but I literally was unboxing the Wi-Fi extender and plugging it in at like 9 a.m. I didn't get the video uploaded that day until 9:30 a.m. and scheduling at noon. Pretty much was the only option. So I'm sorry about the late upload from last week. Hopefully this video is a different story. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like like you're dropping the bass. Wow wow. Give the subscribe button, the osmizity smack. And I'll see you, fellow knights, in the next video. Dude.